Hello everyone and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make your program so that it auto starts when you start your windows. So for this we need windows.h and as stream and then conio.h also using namespace std and in int main method I have nothing so the way this is gonna work is we need to edit the registry so you can open windows registry by pressing windows r and then you can see the run box appears then we have to type r R E G E D I T and then click on OK and once you clicked yes which my screen recorder has probably not recorded cause it's user account control pop up so then you have to go in this directory right over here and there you can see all the programs which start on startup and also as you can see here h key underscore local underscore machine if you edit this run the programs listed here will start for any user but if you change this to h key underscore current user then it will start it for only one user which ran the file so first we will we'll be getting the path of where our program is situated and to do that we need a char array I'm gonna just name it re and then give square brackets and type max underscore path and remember you should type that all in caps so now we have to create a string variable which we can use so type string and name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it fp and i'm gonna set it equal to string and then we are gonna use constructor and re comma space and type get module file name and and type G in caps and module M in caps and file F in caps name and in caps and give it parameter null comma R E comma max path and now F P will be the file location of current module now once we have the file path we can just add it into a registry like this over here and uh, this is the type so for doing that we need to create a toggle switch and I'm gonna be using integer variable for it so that it should work in C also so create a long all in caps and name it anything you want set it equal to reg get value and give it the parameter h key underscore current user underscore user and comma and now we have to give it the sub key so it is this path and uh, you can't copy this from here so i have typed it in notepad from where i can just simply copy it Control c and uh, put it in double quotes it's like the software slash slash microsoft slash slash windows slash slash current version slash slash run and then press comma then here is the value name which is this this will be the name so remember you put the same everywhere i'm gonna put my app in there and now it will ask for dw flags and give it rrf underscore rt underscore reg underscore s z comma zero comma zero comma zero and finally you can end this now that was a long line so you have to run if else statement over here and type if error underscore success equal equal to ln and if it's equal to ln that means we have successfully read this value in ln so that means the key exists over there that means it is on so we can create a new variable over here somewhere 
let's create it over here in toggle tog for short and by default set it equal to zero i'm not using boolean variable over here because in c you can't use boolean variables means you have to add some additional header file so i'm gonna use a integer now i'm gonna set it equal to one over here and then again we want to run a if else statement if og equal equals one that means it is on we have to print on in the console window so i'm just gonna clear the screen before printing so as far as c e m c l s and uh, now i'm gonna see out on and then end l and now we have to create else so just copy it and type else and then paste it and instead of one ask it for zero and then replace on with off this is just a visual you can skip this part if you want but um, i'm explaining so i have to keep it now we will need a while loop so while one i'm using one cause you know right because c doesn't have boolean and i'm using c plus plus but still and we need to create one more variable which is gonna be char so yeah char get equals get ch and this will wait till i press something and if it is equal to t or a capital t which stands for toggle then we execute the next statement or else we do nothing and uh, we again wait for user to press something so capital t and now we have to create one more if else and type if t o g equal equals one and since we are toggling this we need to set it equal to zero and once we do that we just copy the system cls and print off for showing users that it really did something now here is what the important part is which will write the thing into registry so we need to create a h key variable and that's h key and you can name it anything but i will name it h key in small and set it equal to and set it equal to h key underscore current underscore user now i'm just gonna copy this thing because i don't want to type that and now we need to open the registry and delete the value and then close the registry so we need to delete the value because it was there and we have to remove it now because it's saying off okay and this type reg open key and uh, give it a first parameter as h key underscore current underscore user comma now you have to copy this thing over here which was in notepad and then paste it over here again and then we need to press comma and uh, press and h key this is our variable name if you're wondering and now we delete the value and close the registry so we have to give it the h key and the value name which was my app so type in h k e y our variable name comma my app remember not to mess this up because it will mess all program up and then we just need to close the registry and give it the h key variable which we made and now we are done with this part but we need to create other part so just copy this much and uh, type else over here after our if and then paste it right over there and now we have to change some values so else if tog equals zero set it equal to one and turn it on and now just don't forget to close the bracket here now we create a h key variable which is gonna be the same name and we don't need to initialize it but if you want you can then create a long variable i will name it key and i will set it equal to r e g open key e x and uh, now we have to give it some parameters and the first parameter will be this and second parameter will be this so just copy these two things ctrl c and then paste it over there ctrl v and then press comma and press zero comma and we have to write the key this time so key underscore write and then press comma and 
give it the h key variable and do you semicolon yeah now we need to see if it's opened then we have to write the key so if error success and name key over there and if it's opened successfully then we create the key and uh, we just need to type key equals and now you can boycott this key over here but uh, if you want to check the success after this then you can use key variable to check the success or else you can leave it like that so reg set value ex and for the first parameter we have to give it our h key then for the second parameter we need to give it the name my app and for the third parameter we need to give it a zero and for fourth parameter we need to give it reg underscore sz now remember i talked about this type so r E G underscore S Z and now we need to convert our file path to byte and then we need to give it the length so give a pair of parentheses and type B Y T E star where is star and then go out of the parenthesis then type fp dot c underscore str and then press comma and we need to find string length so we are going to use string length function now we need to type f p dot c underscore str and we can close it with the semicolon and now hopefully this should work so let us run it and it's compiling the file and as you can see it's off right now but if we press t it becomes on and now if i close it on on see it doesn't start with off yeah it starts from on now we can toggle it close it and this time run it it starts from off so it will start when you start your system this is how it works and hope you guys have enjoyed this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you want to continue watching my videos then make sure you click the video that's showing up it's the most recommended for you and bye